there's a heated race between two Democrats for the state Senate seat in District 8. Yeah, that covers areas including Sacramento and Elk Grove. And Case Area 3's Lizay Mitri introduces us to the candidates. From stacks of campaign mailers to other ads, Millions of dollars have been spent in the state Senate race to represent people in District 8, which includes Sacramento and Elk Grove. It's between two Democrats, former California Insurance Commissioner Dave Jones and Sacramento City Council Vice Mayor Angelique Ashby. What do you think is the biggest difference between you and your opponent in this race? I'm very proud of not only having served in a number of public offices. I believe public service is a calling. I've been a legal aid lawyer, a city council member, a state assembly member, an insurance commissioner. But I've used each and every one of those offices to help ordinary people. Well, I think on the issues, people, and we've heard this a lot, right, that we're pretty similar in terms of pro-choice and really both pro-environment and all those things. But the biggest difference between us really isn't our policy positions. The biggest difference between us is who we are as people and our lived experiences. Ashby points out if elected, she would be the first woman in 20 years to hold the seat. She even moved to include women's advocate in her title on the November ballot until Jones successfully sued her over it. So Ashby is listed as council member on the ballot. His ballot designation, though, is environmental advocate and educator. And he hasn't been a teacher. So I think that is maybe a bit misleading for voters. In response, Jones says, no, we've been very clear. Um, as an educator, um, I lecture, um, I appear at conferences, I research and publish papers, um, I advise students. That's the role of an educator. In fact, his endorsements include teachers unions like the California Federation of Teachers. I'm very excited about those that have endorsed my candidacy. Uh, U.S. Senator Alex Padilla, Dolores Huerta, one of the leading civil rights advocates in California, Planned Parenthood, the Sierra Club, teachers, nurses, grocery store workers, and the California Democratic Party. Ashby is backed by former Governor Jerry Brown and current Governor Gavin Newsom. If you would have told me when I was you know, 21 years old with a one-year-old sitting in a social services office applying for food stamps, that someday I would run for the state Senate and the sitting governor would endorse me, I would not have believed you. But here we are. If elected, both candidates say addressing homelessness is among their top priorities. I've been really proud of my own record on drawing down resources shortly. We will open a hotel in my council district that is a conversion project. It's from Project Home Key, paid for by state funding. She says more opportunities like that are necessary. Jones says the situation has gotten out of control. So I think the state needs to insist that cities and counties build shelters with mental health treatment and substance abuse treatment and other services because they're failing to do that. The state is providing money, but the shelters aren't getting built. Who will try to tackle the issue will ultimately be up to the voters. In Sacramento, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. And since redistricting, District 8 covers roughly the same area as what is now known as District 6. The current senator in the seat, Dr. Richard Pan, has termed out after 12 years in office.